Genre, Realistic Fiction, Sled Dogs Run, by Jonathan London, illustrated by John Van Zyl. Essential Question, How Do Animals Survive? Read about sled dogs that live in a very cold environment. They were born in the spring. Fat, tumbling puppy balls full of fresh puppy smell and puppy life. There was skookum and hawk and bamboo. Here in Alaska, in the far north, skookum means smart. See how hawk and bamboo chase him but can't catch him, says Papa. He will be the leader. Now in summer, the training begins. Sled dogs run. That's what they live for, to run, to run and pull. First, they wear a harness to get used to it. Then they pull a small log, bouncing and skidding behind them. In the fall, they pull a cart for the first time. Papa runs behind me. I call out, Skookum, Hawk, Bamboo, good dogs. For now, they run with older dogs. I can't wait till the first snow. In the winter, the snow comes, white on white, as soft as owl's feathers. I lie down in the softness and make a snow angel, but my dogs are eager to run. And by February, they are ready to pull as a team, with me as musher. My first solo run. Mama heats up a sloppy stew. The dogs must eat fast before it freezes. Mama gives me a hug. You will love the quiet, she says, and the oneness with nature. You will love the speed, Papa says, and the sense of freedom. When I come with the harnesses, the dogs go crazy. They run in circles, howling and crying and yipping with joy. Hitched to the gang line, they are raring to go. Mama says, be back by dark. In the north, in the winter, dark comes early. Papa says, trust the dogs, they will know the way. I pull the snow hook and shout, hike! The sled feels like it's leaving the ground. Whoosh! We're off. The dogs straining, tugging, running out before me, huffing puffs of breath. We are racing cloud shadows. We are racing a snowy owl. We are racing the wind. We spook a snowshoe hare and fly after it. The sled whips. The runners shush. The collars and snaps jingle. Hair disappears into white. The dogs smell moose and go after it. Moose stops and turns around, fire in her eyes. With one kick, a moose can cave in a rib cage. That's what Papa says. I yell, ha! and my dogs swerve left, away from the moose. I yell, gee, and my dogs swerve right, their keen noses scenting the trail. I hear a howl. Is it the howl of wolves? The hair stands up on my dog's necks. No, it is the howling wind blowing the snow sideways. I hang on to the sled handle for dear life. The storm is a hungry wolf eating up the light. Just as we hit a frozen lake, we are blinded. We are lost. But I remember what Papa says. Trust the dogs. They will know the way. The dogs are my eyes. Through the snow-blind world we drive. 
All I hear is the howl of the wind and the boom of the lake ice shifting. Skookum, hawk, bamboo, take me home. Suddenly the wind dies to a whisper and the air clears like a clean window. Whoa, I call. We come to a stop. Good dogs, good team. The sun is down and the full moon is rising, tipping its golden light. When my dogs stop panting, there's a silence as quiet as owl's breath. Then I see beyond the long blue shadows of the spruce, lights, our cabin in the woods, home, and we become a part of the night and the moon and the snow and the trees, and we run. Skookum, hawk, bamboo, hike. We run to keep up with our hearts.